<coughs> Hello, Mr. Newland here. Welcome to Total War 1942. Uh, it's not version 1.3.1 like it is written here. It's a an alpha of version 2.0 with everything from version 2.01 moved over to this version that I could move over. Only thing I couldn't move over I believe was the, the, the Berlin custom settlement and the Paris custom settlement and the French custom settlement and the Italian custom settlements. We only have the German custom settlements minus Berlin. O o and I didn't move over any traits or, or such and chilleries and uh, religions because I didn't want to risk uh, <coughs> that CTD that is in 2.01. I don't know what is causing it and therefore I'm very careful. So this is a mod um, for Room to Door and Room to Door Barbarian Invasion made by Dego uh, Xerianus and Salutzar, also known as Leonid. <coughs> so Dego Xerianus is the same modder that ported Lord of the Rings to the War to the Total War Room Remastered uh, game this year. Okay, and this is my sub mod for Total War 1942, a mod for the games that I mentioned. Uh, it works for both Vanilla Room to War and Barbarian Invasion, but the naval battles uh, that are um, custom battle and historical battle uh, unique, uh, they only work on the Barbarian Invasion expansion. We'll start a new campaign. I am already playing a uh, campaign as the United States of America, and in this game, unlike in uh, every other game except Diablo 2 Lord's Destruction, I believe that I don't mean the mod, I mean Room to Lore and its expansions, so any mod for Room to Lore as well, uh, and any mod for Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction, uh, they cannot use the CD recorder or the Bandicam recorders we used, but uh, NVIDIA Shadow Play recorder, the symbol for it is over here, this is the Bandicam symbol, if I use it, it will only record for a few minutes and then the, the, the screen game lock, if I use the NVIDIA Shadow Play recorder it works fine, but uh, we'll create many video files instead of one, which is a s sad thing. So we need to process each video after we have recorded it. So if I play for two hours, it will take at least four hours to process it in Filmora. And after I processed it, I can upload it, and that will take at least one hour as well. Uh, sometimes more. So, so I play for maybe two hours, then I process it for four hours, and then I upload it for one to two hours too. Okay, and... Uh, I am playing a United States campaign since last year in October. I recently decided to continue it. I recently uploaded episode 5 and episode 6 is now processing on the other computer. It's uh, almost half way through the processing. Uh, so the fifth episode was 2 hours 39 minutes long and the next episode is 2 hours 35 minutes long. So it's almost as long. It will take a few hours to process and it also ended with a crash. I believe in battle. Okay, so I could play it for two hours thirty five minutes uh, until it crashed. <coughs> okay, and we will place the difficulty on the campaign map on easy. We'll have managed all settlements on. No time battle limit or no battle time limit will be on. And uh, we will Take a look at the factions. So we have the British Commonwealth of Nations or the British Empire. They control the entire empire. They are the largest faction in the game and are probably one of the strongest. Uh, I believe they are one out of the three strongest factions in the game. They might be the strongest one. <laughs> they have the most areas for sure. And we have the United States of America. They are a great power in the mod and in the game. But they are not one of the strongest. They have only 18 areas as opposed to 31 for the British Empire. So they are weaker than the British, and we believe weaker than the Union and weaker than Germany at the start of the game. We have the Republic France, the French Republic, also known as the Free French. They have lost France to Germany, and uh, half of France has become the French state, Vichy. This is not the French state, these are the Free French that are continuing to fight the Germans and the other Axis powers. They have areas in the Middle East, such as in Aleppo, and they have areas in, <coughs> I believe Aleppo, that's probably Syria. So they have areas in Syria, and then they have uh, areas in Africa. So that's where they will fight. So they have mostly underdeveloped areas, and are therefore weak in the beginning of the game, but they have 
really good stuff at the, in the late game. So the game starts in 1942, in the middle of World War II when Germany was at its height of power. But um, it continues all the way until 1954. So there are some 50, 50s units in the game for some factions including France. And uh, there are like uh, 24 turns per year, so each turn is, ha uh, is half a month uh, in time past. Okay, so the French Republic is not very strong in the beginning, but could become strong in, in the 50s and in the late World War. Okay, we have the League of Nations. It's basically <coughs> in Mexico and Colombia united in a faction known as League of Nations. <coughs> so in, in history, both Colombia and Mexico joined the League of Nations in 1942 or earlier. And uh, <coughs> they provided arms by the United States. So they are like a vassal of the United States. They are also the Roman Senate in the game. And uh, the, the British Empire is the July Roman faction. The United States is the Brute Roman faction. and the French Republic is the third Roman faction, so they are united in an alliance and will, uh, if, if a faction declares war on one of these four, then they will all uh, um, declare war on that faction, at least until the late game. In the late game they might betray each other, because in history the Roman factions did, uh, did uh, fight civil wars and such, but for most of the early game they will be very loyal to each other, these four. Okay, then we have the Spanish state, in history they were neutral. But in the game they are allied to Axis powers, because that's the best way of preventing the Axis powers such as Germany from steamrolling them in Spain. Uh, so the Spanish state also holds Chile in South America, because we were at a limit in factions and I wanted more factions than just the League of Nations. In the official version of the mod I believe that the League of Nations holds all of South America. But in this sub-mod I added uh, the area of Chile to Spain and the area of Brazil. Portugal and the area of Argentine to the Third Reich uh, and only Bogota, the capital of Colombia, is held by the League of Nations and they also hold Mexico which is in Latin America and not in South America. Okay, we have the Turkey faction, they are a neutral faction but they train their pilots in, in Britain so they have good relations with Britain and they also have, uh, <coughs> I believe, access to some British fighter planes, I believe I think that's the case, I'm not sure. And, and they, they have access to American bombers in the late game. They have very good relations with the United States of America. They were spying on the Italians and the Germans because they feared they would attack. You know, Mussolini, uh, Benito Mussolini, leader of uh, the Italian Empire or Italy during World War II, he wanted a new Roman Empire and uh, of course he would have wanted this area of Turkey as it was part of the Roman Empire, but he failed to take Greece. And before he could invade Turkey, he needed to first take Greece. Uh, of course, he got help from Germany to, to take Greece in the end, but uh, Germany didn't uh, invade Turkey before they launched that, the, the invasion of, uh, at, against uh, the Soviet Union. So the invasion against uh, Turkey never happened. But in the game, they are a f faction, and they are neutral, and they are likely to join the Allies. They have friendly relations with allies, and they have some good troops. They have some underdeveloped tanks and infantry, but they have good planes in the late game. Okay, they have the Japanese Empire and Axis power. <coughs> they have their entire empire. They are pretty strong. They have the India faction. They have half of India. The rest of India is held by the British Empire. They have revolted against the British, but in the beginning of the campaign they are allied. They might fight the British later, they have one area too held by uh, Portugal, I believe, believe it is uh, Vasco da Gama or something. Uh, anyway, uh, Portugal is holding one area in India and India is holding the rest and then uh, like in the upper areas here we have Britain. So it's, uh, it's likely that India will fight Portugal and then they will fight the British. <coughs> but they are allied to the British in the early game have some of the same units, some unique ones. We have the United, Socia uh, so uh, <coughs> we have the United Soviet Socialist Republics, or the USSR, also known as the Soviet Union. Uh, I believe they are the strongest allied power in the game. They do not have as many regions as Britain, but they have uh, 
stronger forces, I believe, in the beginning of the game, more armies. Uh, so they are fighting the Germans and such. <coughs> okay, we have the Chinese Republic. <coughs> so they are consisting of the nationalists and the republicans of China. <coughs> and are an allied power, allied to the United States and others. They used to be friendly with Germany prior to the war, but Germany broke down relations with the faction of the nation after Japan invaded. So they hold most of China. They're the government in Taiwan today. And then we have the People's Republic of China, the faction led by Mao Zedong. This other faction is led by Chiang Kai-shek. And uh, before the World War II broke out, I believe in the late 20s and early 30s, they had a civil war, the communists and the nationalists. And I believe the communists uh, they like the farmers revolting and uh, the republicans or nationalists, they were the ones in control of China. Uh, but after the Japanese invaded, they made a temporary alliance and fought the Japanese together. But the People's Republic of China, led by Mao Zedong, communist leader, uh, they um, have only one area at the start of the game, but they have two armies. Sometimes they can conquer quite a few areas and sometimes they are uh, defeated early. And uh, yeah, but they are allied with other Chinese faction and with the Soviet Union, and uh, they are fighting the Japanese Empire. And we have the French state, Vichy or Vichy France. They are the nation that emerged after France defeat in 1940 by Germany. So they are the vassal of Nazi Germany. They ho have their capital in Lyon, and they also hold Marche. And they are pretty weak, but they have some areas in, in Africa too, and then higher outside of Africa. So they have some provinces. I believe that France has lost the Indochina in Asia, in Southeastern Asia, to, to Thailand and uh, Japan but, uh, in 1942, but they still have areas in, in uh, Africa. So this is the French state, and the other French faction is the Republic of the Free French. They are enemies, one is an allied power and the other is uh, like the, the official state of France and they are an Axis power or a vassal of Germany. And uh, they have about similar they have similar units, but I believe that the, the Vichy France or French state Vichy they have uh, some German artillery and German planes uh, in addition to their own, while the French Republic have uh, some British uh, like artillery and uh, uh, I believe British planes or American planes uh, as opposed to German ones. So they have some help from different factions. Uh, which France is helped by Germany and uh, the French Republic is helped by Britain and the United States. Okay, and they also have some unique looks. They have different textures and uh, different helmets and uh, some different units. Most of their infantry is the same different skins. They have, uh, I believe, that the French Republic has uh, some different uh, tanks compared to, to the Vichy France. Vichy France has worse tanks in the late game. Okay, uh, we have the German Reich or the Third Reich. They hold all of the Third Reich and they were at the height of their power in 1942. They are fighting the Soviet Union at this time together with Bulgaria. No, together with Hungary, Romania and, and uh, Italy and Finland. Uh, uh, Bulgaria never joined the invasion of the S Soviet Union, but they did join the Germans in conquering Yugoslavia and Greece, and they are already conquered at the start of the campaign. Okay, so Bulgaria is an Axis power, but they have not joined the invasion against the Soviet Union. Uh, the Third Reich is fighting the Soviet Union in 1942. And is fighting in Africa too against the British and the French. Here they have Erwin Rommel and some others. Okay, and they are holding France. Okay, we have Bulgaria. <coughs> they have two areas Sofia, their capital, and they have uh, Saloniki, I believe. Uh, they are an Axis power, but they didn't join the other Axis powers in invading Soviet, so they have no actual enemy to stop the campaign. Uh, they are likely to fight the Turks, uh, a neutral faction that they border, or fight Romania, Hungary, Italy or Germany. So they might actually end up in a war with their allies, or with the neutral faction Turkey, or 
against it, uh, against uh, yeah uh, the Soviet Union, but the uh, Romania is kind of in the in between Soviet and Bulgaria, so it's more likely they will fight the Turks or or one of the Axis powers, and uh, so they will likely to betray or be betrayed. Okay, Thailand, they are an Axis power, but they are not a part of the Pact of Steel. They are not allied to Germany, Bulgaria, Romania, Hungary, Finland, or Italy. They are allied only to Japan or the Japanese Empire, because uh, the Empire of Japan falls to an alliance. So they, they fight the British and the French, but the French have already been defeated in Southeastern Asia in 1942. So it's only the British they are fighting now, and the Chinese Republic, together with Japan. Of course, in this game, Japan might betray them, so they might fight Japan too. Then we have India as well, but I believe Britain is in between India and this faction. Then we have Portugal in some areas as well, in this part of the world. Okay, we have the Italian Empire under Benito Mussolini. He wanted to restore the Roman Empire. He failed to invade. Greece, but then got help from Bulgaria and uh, Germany in conquering the area, and now has, I believe, Albania and its capital Tirana. He has mainland Italy, and he has some areas in Africa, but he only has 10 regions as opposed to, for example, 28 regions for Germany, and they are very weak garrisons, probably too weak. That's why they are always conquered by Vichy France in Germany, in mainland Italy, by Soviet in. Uh, in the east, Eastern Europe, but that they have an actual good army in Eastern Europe. And then they have some uh, good troops in Africa and in Albania, uh, but they are often defeated in the end by the British and the Free Republic of France, maybe even by the United States. Okay, so I uh, wanted to play a bit as the Italian Empire and try to survive. Uh, so we will try to, we will not try to win in the east or uh, in, in Africa, we will lose and we have very weak garrisons in Sicily and in mainland it Italy, so it will be conquered by either the which France faction or Germany, so we need to move the army in Eastern Europe to Italy as soon as possible. Italy has one advantage, they have three great fleets. Uh, in history they had a really strong fleet, but unfortunately they didn't have radar, unlike Britain. So the British ships could easily hit the Italian ships, while well, the Italian ships uh, had a hard time to hit the British, uh, American and French ships, because they didn't have a radar. But uh, in the end, uh, I believe that Fre the French fleet was destroyed by the French in order to prevent Germany from taking that fleet, so it wasn't a problem for Italy, and as for the, um, I believe the the Italian fleet in the end, uh, most of it surrendered to the Allies, so they didn't have to defeat it, because Italy switched sides in 1943 and uh, surrendered the entire fleet to the Allies uh, before Germany could take the ships. Okay, but in this game they have three strong fleets, and we will try to move the armies in Africa to Italy, and the army in Albania to Italy, and we will also try to move the army in Eastern Europe to Italy then try to, to defend Italy and build up here, you'll need to focus on planes, because we have a disadvantage, we have 10 areas to in total at start, but we only have, I believe, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 areas in mainland Italy, and we lose the others, I believe Britain will take the areas in Africa, or U the USA, or the French and then uh, we lose the area we hold in the Eastern Europe, Soviet will take it, and uh, or Germany, and then, then we lose Albania to one of the Allied powers, one of the Axis powers that we are allied to. Uh, so we'll move all the troops here, and even so we will have a very hard time to survive, because uh, we played as Germany previously, and I moved every army from other areas of the world to the Eastern Front, and had one front, and we also recruited a lot of troops and still we lost, so Italy will have a hard time if they still want to trade. Okay, we have uh, Hungary and other uh, Axis powers. They are usually very loyal to Germany and usually won't uh, be betrayed or betray Germany. But in my latest campaign as the United States of America, Germany and Hungary were actually fighting for the first time. 
and Yomne conquered them. They have three areas at the start. Yomne is like 28, so no surprise there. Yomne also has better troops. Uh, but Hungary is like a minor axis power, just like Romania. Both of them have three areas at start, while Bulgaria has two. And uh, Italy has ten, as I said. Uh, Hungary has unique uh, tanks, unique to them. No, un no other faction has those tanks. And they have unique skins for infantry and uh, like everyone else and uh, <coughs> they have the same planes as Romania, I believe. Uh, Finland, they have a lot of cool and unique troops. I would like to place them too, but they are at a disadvantage. They will be invaded by Soviet and their million armies. And then they might be betrayed by Germany, so they will fight two fronts. If you use total diplomacy to force Germany back into an alliance, they will just continue to betray us all the time. If we force them to become a protectorate or a vassal, they will also betray us because they only stay loyal as a vassal or protectorate if they are weaker, but they are not weaker, so they will betray us. So that's why playing as Finland is probably suicidal. Uh, but we'll try Italy first. We, we will try an, a Finnish uh, campaign too later. Okay, they have a lot of cool units though. Then we have Romania, they have the same units as uh, the same planes. I believe as uh, Hungary, they have the same tanks as France. But they do not have the two best tanks uh, of France from the late World War or fr from the 50s. They only have the early World War II tanks of France. It's really bad tanks. Soma 35 from 1936 and uh, Renault FT from 1917. They have really outdated tanks. Both are light tanks. They have uh, the UE 52 German transport uh, planes and uh, bombers. They are both transports and bombers. They are pretty bad, easy to shoot down. Should probably get boosted in their hit points, so they aren't as easily shot down. But anyway, they have that plane, just like Hungary, and they also have a Messerschmitt 109 fighter plane with a unique skin, and that's actually a good uh, fighting plane. Fighter plane the same as German and the other Axis powers. Okay, and they have uh, infantry and such. They also have cavalry, just like Japan and Italy. I don't believe anyone else has cavalry than those three, but there is a British cavalry unit in the game, only available in Africa, but it's a mercenary unit only available from that region. Okay, in Portugal they hold a bunch of areas, they have two areas in southeastern, I, I believe they have one area in India, and one area in uh, like Southeast Asia or China, Th then they have an, uh, uh, Brazil in South America because I wanted uh, Brazil represented, and they have Lisbon or Lisboa, their capital in Portugal, and they have at least two areas in Africa and one higher. So they are a little bit here and there on the map. They have a strong army in Brazil because that army represents the Brazilian army, and they also have some s a strong presence in other parts like Lisboa, Lisboa, their capital or Lisbon. Okay, and uh, they are likely to be attacked by the Spanish state in their main homeland of Portugal. In South America, they are likely to be attacked by uh, the Spanish controlled Chile area or by the Argentine German controlled area. Uh, and then in, uh, in India, they might be attacked by India. And in uh, Southeast Asia, they might be attacked by the, the Republic of China or the, 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 the nationalist Republicans of China hold most of China in this game and in Africa they might be attacked by which France, the Republic of France or the British. Okay, we'll start the game as the Italian Empire, we will have campaign difficulty on easy to prevent revolts and so that other factions are not that aggressive. We will have manage all settlements on, medium difficulty in battle, no battle time limit. We do not want high difficulty in battle because that would just give enemies bonuses. Here is the info but it's a bit too much. So you won't read it. Difficulty factor medium. The year is 1942 AD. Italian Empire. Let's start the campaign. I already tried to start this campaign uh, like an hour, two hours ago or something. I used the Bandicam recorder just to try if it worked, but it only recorded for a few minutes and then the screen game locked. And then I also had a crash on the map. 
So no, it didn't work well. And I only entered the campaign, I managed to move a few armies around. I believe I had moved the army from from Tripoli in Africa to, to mainland Italy, and I had also moved <coughs> the army in east um, in Eastern Europe to into Romania's lands or Bulgaria's lands. So we can move a lot in, in, in this version of the mod because I increased action points, the, the movement points uh, to the max. I believe they are 307 or 311 or something. Okay, so Italy, let's take a look at the faction overview. Capital city is Roma or Rome. Faction leader is Benito Mussolini. Family members are six. <coughs> Regions control ten. Uh, and we have one, two, three, four, four regions in mainland Italy, and Sicily is not really mainland Italy because the army is isolated in Sicily. You can't go there by land, you need to use a fleet, which is good. We could, like, chicken here with armies and build them up if this area is conquered. Okay, so uh, <coughs> victory condition, survivor, hold 15 provinces and destroy your outlast following factions. Uh, faction of factions, French Republic or United Soviet Socialist Republic, the, the Soviet Union. You do not need to defeat them ourselves, but if they are defeated and we are still around and we hold 15 regions, we will win. We hold 10 regions at the start, we will lose probably all the regions in Africa and in Eastern Europe. And that's, I believe, four regions. So we'll have about uh, one, two, three, four, five, five regions because we lose the area here too in, in Albania. Okay. Uh, let's check the diplomacy. We are allied to Romania, Bulgaria, the Third Reich, the German Reich, the Japanese Empire, the Empire of Japan, and the Spanish state. The Spanish state wasn't an ally in history, but they sent an entire division to Germany to, to fight the Soviet Union, and they sent a lot of weapons and such to Germany. And it, but they didn't join the war. They are allied here to prevent Germany and others from attacking them. It's the best way of preventing that. If they are neutral, they will be attacked. If they are allied, they are less likely to be attacked, but could still be attacked in the late game. Uh, we are at war with the Soviet Union. We have an area in the Soviet Union. I believe we have uh, uh, one of the areas there. We hold uh, Kharkov. We'll move out of there. Hungary is holding Kursk. Okay, we are at war with the French Republic. Fighting them in Africa. Free French. We are also at war with the United States. Fighting them in Africa. And we are at war with the British Commonwealth of Nations or the British Empire. Fighting them in Africa as well. Okay, we'll move the armies to mainland Italy. Because we need to defend. First, we'll move this army to, to this area. Remove any good troops first. The ones that are not riflemen will be chosen first, of course. So they have a full sized army under General um, Italo Garibaldo. Garibaldi. Garibaldi was a known general. I will try to retreat with the army. We'll fast forward. Here we have our ally, Romania. You can see that they have riflemen, U-52, transport ships and bombers. Uh, unfortunately they are too easy to shoot down. If I ever update this sub-mod, I will certainly add more help points to them, so they have the same as the U-88s, because they are too easy to shoot down now. We also have the Smith 109 fighters with a unique skin. Uh, both are German planes, but the U-52 is unique to, uh, I believe, Hungary and Romania. It's not used by Germany. We have the Stokes Mortar artillery, and the Pekforte artillery, the German artillery. We have some uh, sni scout snipers, five units of riflemen, one unit of cavalry. One unit of assault rifles, and we have three, uh, three units of, one unit of SOMO S-35, 1936 light tanks, and uh, two units of Renault FT light tanks. So Renault FT is a real old tank from 1917, as I said, 
uh, French tank and the Soma 35 is also a French tank but it's later, it's from 1936 but still a 30s tank uh, we'll move this army here we have another area, Bucharest, the capital of Romania here we have their leader, Carol II, the king I believe in World War II they were led by Marshal Antonescu Okay. Yeah, Pat blocked it look Garibaldi. Okay, so I've retreated. I believe the game crashed when I had moved this army here. And I tried to play with the Vandekam recorder, but the screen had already locked itself in the recording program by that point. I had also moved some troops from Africa. So we could move uh, this fleet. because we want to move the fleet over here here we have Bulgarian city, Saloniki we have 4 units of riflemen we have similar riflemen to the Germans then they have the Panzer IV tanks with unique green skin we have the anti-aircraft trucks with unique skin and the tank guns, two units of cavalry, so Bulgaria also has cavalry. So the ones with cavalry are Bulgaria, Romania, Japan, and uh, Hungary. No, Italy, not Hungary. <coughs> and then Britain has mercenary cavalry. We have Mrs. Smiths here too with a different skin, pack 40s, and Stokes motors. Okay. Can quick save, I don't like game crashes and I need to redo stuff so the army inside of Italy is not good they mostly, mostly infantry, no wonder they are steamrolled in an update you might, might actually need to add some better stuff to the main Italian regions so they are not killed off immediately they have some better troops outside like this army here that we moved under Garibaldi army with some good stuff including riflemen they are not as good as for example the German riflemen um, then we have the cavalry, two units of cavalry two, three units of riflemen two units of anti-tank gunners and two units of scout snipers two units of the fight 3000 light tank they are not like the <coughs> tankettes, there are no tankettes in this game tankettes are like even worse smaller tanks with machine guns these at least have the smallest turret they can <laughs> fire the small shell like another light tank but they have the worst stats they are even worse <laughs> than the Renault FT tanks I believe uh, of the French and the Romanians then we have the heavy tank the P-26 40 tank is a 1930s tank uh, the armor is actually a medium tank in quality and uh, it's, a, it's a decent medium tank it's called a heavy tank by the Italians but it sucks as a heavy tank but it's a good medium tank overall so they have a light tank and a medium tank in this army <coughs> two of each we have Stokes motor artillery and aircraft trucks we have the Messerschmitt 109 fighters of Germany and the ME 110 German fighters we have a lot of German fighter planes and such and bombers that are not used by German in the game that are unique to other factions ok, they have the armored officer's car of Garibaldi himself ok this army will be moved to mainland Italy to defend we want to, to move other stuff there too we have more fleets I think this fleet need to leave and move all the way down here. Couldn't reach the areas this time. We want to move this army, it's half an army. We'll only leave a rifleman unit in Mogadishu and uh, in the capital of Abyssinia, I believe. Modern day. Ethiopia, and then we have Addis Ababa, 
Uh, I could be wrong. Maybe Addis Ababa is the capital of that area. I don't remember. Okay, we will move both of these armies. We'll leave two units of riflemen. The rest will move onto the ships and move back towards Italy. We let the Allies take Africa and Soviet will take back Kharkov. Can't hold those areas anyway. We need to move. We need to move ships. From Tripoli as well. We'll leave one unit of riflemen in Tripoli. And move the rest onto the fleet. And move them here. Now we have a stronger force defending Tripoli. Let's so move in the army from, I mean, defending Bali. Move it from Tripoli to mainland Italy. Yeah, we will lose uh, Africa for sure, but uh, we rather lose Africa than mainland it. Okay, we can move good troops, we'll do that. We'll move them to Rome. So this version of the game only has the German custom settlement, it doesn't have the French ones or the Italian ones, and it doesn't have uh, the Berlin uh, capital or the uh, Paris capital. Uh, so we need to play a different version to have that, but it has the German town, large town, city and large city. I didn't know how to move, move them over, and uh, the main official version was unstable, that's why I did this submod, but now the, there is a new version of the official version that might be more stable. I will try later test the German custom settlement and the French one in battle. They always crash when I play them in custom battle, the, the capitals, but <coughs> I believe in the campaign they didn't crash when I tried. So they might work fine in the campaign, but crash in, in when playing in, in custom battle. So move some good troops to the capital of Rome. And but we need uh, more troops in the outer regions of Italy. They're likely to be attacked. We emptied that area. Okay. We need to move one of these ships too. Because we want. Uh, want to add the troops to these areas to defend the borders. I believe Milan is likely to be attacked by Vichy France and uh, Verona by Germany. Now we have increased the troops there with actual infantry numbers. That's just numbers, not good enough. Could move better troops there, but we want to protect Rome itself rather than a large town or city. This is a city at least. But has it any? Does it have any walls? It doesn't look like it. No walls. Then uh, Rome is better to protect, in my opinion. Uh, it could. Be, um, Move back this fleet and this fleet into the main fleet. So we have emptied Tripoli. We have emptied. Uh, we are on our way with the army from Eastern Europe. We haven't emptied Tirana in Albania yet. And those troops, I, I want them moved to. Certainly move them. We have family member here. We leave one unit of riflemen. Can't move more. Of it. Yeah, I see they need to enter the ships. They're pretty weak over there. Not good. 
can't have uh, that ship uh, being sunk by anyone. We need to move most of the fleet there. So now it won't be sunk as easily. Can we do a quick save? We left a unit of riflemen in Tirana, the capital of Albania. Okay, we're moving some cavalry, infantry, and a tank unit, and an officer's car unit. Uh, in the capital, we need at least <coughs> eight new units. We are moving nine. We can place the family members somewhere else. Maybe. No, no, we'll place the rifleman somewhere else. The rifleman won't be able to hold well in these areas. We need to move at least a plane there to prevent them from attacking. Try to hold those areas. Okay. Need to Mussolini doesn't have the right portrait. That's understandable. This is not based on Alexander. There was no way to have the right portrait for all the leaders. Okay. One unit. One unit. One unit. One unit. Okay. Still have troops to move. At least one army. Yeah, down in North Africa. And then we have the huge army from Eastern Europe. We need to move as well. And this army will disembark the next time. We have some new troops. Eight units. But these forces will of course try to hold these areas. We should have had at least one more plane unit. It will be difficult otherwise to hold against anyone. We've had a plane unit in both the cities. Okay. Move a rifleman unit there. And move the mortar. So we have uh, four more slots then. Here we have uh, seven. The game. Okay. So yeah, Italy is underpowered. Very few regions and very bad troops at the start. So you try to move all their good stuff to Italy. They have four units of riflemen here. They will hold to the last. We so want do anything else. Could destroy areas. I mean buildings. Some regions. We won't use them. We're gonna lose them anyway. We'll destroy them. Now 
I will need to build and like in the young campaign I like to to at least have the roads and such and, and farms and such from the start same in the United States campaign I, I want uh, population order to be get a boost because in this mod it's notoriously bad they might revolt and such maybe not in mainland Italy but elsewhere we still want the small part all the parks all the farms and the uh, tavern anything that increases happiness at the start okay process CQ Roman Airport, medium park. Now we're out of money, we won't use any money sheets, so we will have to wait one turn until we can get more stuff. I know I used the process CQ sheet to get those parks and such from start, even some ash strips and such, because they increase population order. So I thought it's necessary. Also, it's too difficult, probably, anyway. Now we can get some good planes as well. So we're gonna recruit troops. We better do build construct the Messerschmitt with 109 fighters. Same fighters that Germany has. They are better than the Vichy French ones. The same as Germany. They're out of money, we can't build anything else. So let's uh, end the turn. Re uh, revolt in the areas that we abandoned. That's fine. Got a new general in Rome. Can move to Verona. take two turns to, to construct the Messerschmitt 109 fighters. The League of Nations have declared war on all the Axis powers. F the French Republic has also declared war on Finland, Hungary and Bulgaria. Same with the United States of America have declared war on Finland, Hungary and Thailand. Okay. Powerful fate, fascism, the turn report. Okay. disembark these troops can't move anymore this time and this army could also disembark so both armies have reached the mainland Italy can't move them anymore this time Both of them will boost our border. Here we have a lot of planes, very good. We'll be we'll divide this army in order to defend better. It'll be a defensive army. Might lose this campaign very early. They defeat those armies. And we do not have any more troops. Italy might be totally underpowered. Okay, we'll move these troops from Addis Ababa. Then we will move down here, the fleet, move these troops as well. Then we will destroy buildings here, as these areas will either revolt or be taken by others. We could as well use that money.
strong fleet here. Strong army we wanted in Italy. Much. These tr troopers should also join up. We have a United States fleet. We can attack. Try to attack the British fleet, the Italian ships. So you have basic trooper ships, everyone has troopers, and then we have some Giulio Cesare, Giulio Caesar ships, and Roma ships, Rome ships. Here we have more of them, only the best. Then we have a third fleet, this picking up the army over here. More troopers and uh, these good ships. So it has like three different types of ships. Could probably recruit something. So Verona, Milano has some good stuff we can recruit. We we'll go for uh, Messerschmitt there. So could recruit ordinary riflemen in these areas. Actually, we could use a diplomat here. So we can speak to factions over there. Just well placed. Fortis, so in Bali we can get some artillery and cavalry and some infantry. I think we'll go for some artillery there. Infantry in Palermo. Infantry in Tripoli. Alright, we're done. Then buildings. Farming process seek uh, Roma. Okay, we will construct the ship right. And I think we're done. We will click and turn. See the game. We have a French army here. The biggest army and the town. The British are attacking Addis Ababa. 2041 men, including planes. So they have um, assault infantry, riflemen, scout snipers, Spitfire, two units of Spitfire fighters, Matilda light tank, two of them. So yeah, they will take this area, we will not resolve it. Candidate for adoption, yeah we could use that. 
Send this general Milano. Seems the French are about to attack Verona. Second besiege Charles Baba, they took, they took it. British. Okay, recruitment report. We have some new troops. And a new diplomat. Check the diplomat over here. We're still holding cargo. Seems the curse has been taken by the Soviet Union. The Hungary isn't entirely defeated yet. We'll move out the diplomat. Speak to Hungary before they are defeated. Left click on the listed offer and demand items to Get their map information, lines, trade rights, military access. Is likely to be accepted. Right, done. And then we'll go down and speak to the Germans. We are already allied, we have military access. Trade Let rights will get map information now. A balanced or very generous treaty proposal is likely to be accepted. Then we'll speak to the Soviet Union. And get their map information as well. Left click on an item in the proposal to remove it. A balanced or very generous treaty. Alright. See some areas on the map, including Romania. Stay here on the other factions map. We even have Bulgaria. Okay, we have a diplomat here. Should probably move up and speak to Finland. The Soviet Union, they have a bunch of tanks and such. Okay. They have a lot of armies. Couldn't reach Finland this time. Maybe next time. This is the game. So this army can't move anymore, what the fuck? Something is wrong there. They couldn't move more than this. And we'll move them into Bali. Nah. Infantry couldn't move. The general will move into Bali. And uh, this army could move into Rome. Except the riflemen. Okay. This rifleman unit could move. Somewhere else. General, let's move him back. Okay, in Rome we have a huge army. We get planes in both these areas. Move some tanks each area. Four tanks there. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
another unit of Nessus with one of night fighters to Rona. A variety of spots there. And we move in the cavalry there. Move this back to Rome. Huge armies here now. Another plane will be added to Milan. Milano later. Rifleman there. Okay, one tank and one plane could stay there. Capital, and we'll move the rifleman to the road. They won't have the best armor there. Same with this. Move the best tanks back to Rome. Change my mind. Get a plane unit in one turn. Okay, Stokes Mortar could be moved to this area. Forgot that they had already a full assist on the air. I'll move it to Milano. One of them could move back to Rome. Changed my mind. Okay. Send the infantry down there. I get cavalry the next time. All right. Big park here. 
should build it first. Okay, done. way back we'll end the turn here you're attacked somewhere probably at uh, Mogadishu they have a huge army ok we will have to resolve we'll take Mogadishu as well the British Third on ally by, by, by Bulgaria on the Third Reich, we won't accept. We'll take the side of, of Germany. Okay, Lines and Tatars, Bulgaria and the Italian Empire. Okay, recruitment report. We have a new mess with plane in Milano and pack 4 artillery in Valley. snipers and the family member they can't move that much okay and the air can stay in Bali okay we're done here save in case it crashes it can crash randomly on the map game look okay we're almost where we want to be with this army this is a pretty strong force the weaker troops in, in the back in Sicily and Pan Pal Panama, Palermo and have stronger forces here but in Rome we will have the strongest one of course Verona can be pretty weak it's just a t large town same with Bali Milan is a city, so we will have stronger force there and in Rome. Sicily is town. We don't really care about it. Okay, so Milano and Rome are the important areas. Okay. Verona, we can go for land. Clear. 
clearance We'll go for a stuke attack on bomber. Take two turns to, to construct. Italians. It's a medium tank, but it has better uh, uh, better turret than the heavy tank. It probably is heavier than their heavy tank. Declared on Hungary by Hungary, or declared on ally by Hungary on Romania. Okay. Uh, we'll decline. Take set from Romania then. It's not that good. Move these in instead. Tiller is not that good either. It's defensive. Inside of Rome, the capital. And this army will be moved out to Milano. So let's see, here we have mostly infantry, one tank and one plane. We have one tank and one plane here too. The reverse plane there. Let's move this plane to Rome. Move out one of these.
the next turn we will move out some of the infantry and move them to Bali and instead add some of the better mm -hmm. troops from this army Down here, move the fleet. Oh, we have an American fleet here. Attack. Germany is an ally. Their U boat fleet here, huge fleet. And the turn. Okay, we are attacked in Addis Ababa. I believe we revolted. We have some tanks in this army, not just infantry. But they do have planes. Maybe we want to fight the battle. We'll save before the battle. We we'll probably lose it. Italian Empire, no, no. Italian Empire, zero, zero. Or double O. Okay. Our strength ratio one, two in their favor. We'll fight the battle on the battle map. So we revolted in Addis Baba. Because we had some tanks they wanted to play it on the battlefield even though they have played so they will probably be in here are the 5000 basic light tanks of Italy the worst tanks in the game. Worst than the Renal Defty tanks. army for 
click Start Deployment. This is Alice Baba in the mod. All the citizens them in the mod. And this version of mod is using are using the German custom settlements for town, large town, city, and large city. There are no villages, and uh, huge city was supposed to be the capitals. So they are not in the game either. Let's just start the deployment. Took forever. So we have some infantry. The Italian infantry here, two units, Italian infantry. Only 40 men in a unit. 138. Ah, uh, we are playing on uh, huge size, I believe. That wasn't intended. I wanted to play on large because it's so difficult to move troops around in cities when they are huge. So now we play on huge and not large. When I loaded the American campaign it was large because we loaded a save. But uh, I have the options set on huge. I forgot to change that. So we are playing on huge now. Then I might need to restart the campaign. But we'll continue to play it a bit like this. We are just defending now anyway then it doesn't matter as much, but yeah, we might have too many troops to be impossible to move in cities Also, it might lag if there are more than one army on the battlefield at once, but we'll see it's uh, placed every unit in loose formation, yeah, it's already too many to have loose formation very bad, let's place them in guard mode and start the battle that was stupid of me to forget to change that to this campaign. The tanks can fire over the walls, hopefully. Yeah, these are so many that we can't use loose formation. Maybe we can use it when we have started the battle. Information with all the units. The machine gun towers. The worst type of one of every brick wall there. It's not the worst one. British have the Spitfire fighter, fighter planes. They have a bunch of tanks, including Met Met the Matilda light tanks here. Reverse tank, still better than our Fighter 1000 tank. Might even be better than our P2640 tank. This one. It seems similar. Slightly smaller for the British. The armor seems better here for the British for sure. Don't like that I have it. have the settings on huge. It means I wasted my time. Oh, they killed, the planes killed our infantry. Most of them. They fled over here. Alright. Might still be able to defend well. But yeah, if there are more than two full sized armies, it will probably lag or flicker. Well, if, if there are. Uh, if I invade the settlement, we might have a 
problems with the set. AI can move, but they usually won't listen to orders when you click on them to move in the set and there are too many. They, they infantry. This tank is the heavy tank of the Italians. P2640. Their middle tank in terms of quality. Game also risks crashing in battle, and we have huge settings. Too many units under custom settlements, and it could crash. Tap it all with the huge settings. Hell, I went too fast, thinking it was large. Oh, the 5000 light tanks moved out. Okay. Could attack their tanks with our tanks. really matter to never have them at fired wheel. They are automatically put on fired wheel at the start. That was the problem with planes in the American episode, episode 5, where I didn't know why they didn't list the orders. It's because they had fired wheel on. It needs to be disabled, otherwise they will do whatever they want. fire at each other. Yeah, this heavy tank the Italians is larger than the Tilda light tank the British. But it doesn't have very good armor for heavy tank. It has the medium shell I believe, unlike the light tank. It has the small shell. It should be in even if it has worse armor, I'm not sure it has worse armor. These tanks, the Fire 3000, they are totally worthless. Against the Matildas. I kinda knew we would lose this battle, but we had some cool units I wanted to watch it. Good death, Captain Amato, uh, Italian Empire. We had some infantry here. We'll probably send out our infantry against them.
heavy tank was decent, I think. At least against the material, the light tanks of the British. The fighter thousands, they got taken out almost immediately. These ones are decent against the light tanks. They will still win this battle. already gone down. By their planes actually. It's their fighter planes that are shooting them. Killing them. Okay, let's attack their tanks there. charge Place it in close formation. Now oh, it's stuck here. Only one tank remaining. Yeah, on huge, it's possible to use tanks and such. It's the infantry that is troublesome. We have two tanks remaining. These tanks were decent against light tanks at least, but not against the planes. Let's attack their tanks again. A suicidal attack just to end the battle. units of riflemen in the city. We'll charge with them too. So yeah, the fight 3000 light tanks of the Italians are totally worthless. Uh, the tank hits would have been um, good placeholders for like, they would have been good um, like equivalents of the bikes of other factions and jeeps uh, because they use uh, machine guns that are similar to motorbikes or cycles. In, in Havisa they are killed off but uh, the fighter thousand tanks they were really really bad. How many did we kill? We lost 58% we killed 6% didn't go too well. Flag of the 
Italian Empire sent there. Probably be fired at from the air. Yeah, they died. Nous avons subi une défaite cuisante dans ce jeu. Clear defeat. Your arm under Captain Amato of the Italian Empire had 1191 men. Killed 102 of the British and uh, 499 remaining. And more under Archibald Ackland of the British Empire, of the British Commonwealth of Nations, I think I will say the British Empire, um, had uh, 1580 men deployed, 692 killed. Uh, they killed 692 of our troops and they had, have 1446 remaining. Detailed statistics or battle statistics. One fight 3,000 light tank of the Italians kill 16 enemies, another one kills 6, uh, a rifleman unit kills 0, another rifleman unit kills 0, and the P-2640 heavy tank, which is in reality is a light tank, a uh, medium tank, with a medium shell and medium armor, uh, kill 80, so it was actually decent, the heavy tank of the Italians. Tank was decent. P twenty twenty forty. P twenty uh, whatever. <coughs> but if the other tank, the light tank, was worthless. Lost the area again. Turn. Settlement occupied Addis Baba by the British Empire. End of town report. Recruitment report. We have a new Progretto M35 in uh, Rome or Roma. And in Milano we have a Stuka tactical bomber. German bomber. Uh, Thailand and the USA has a ceasefire in effect. Tactical bomber. Okay, we'll move uh, one of the by uh, three thousands down, I think, and then we'll move the tactical bomber to Rome. They are good defensive units. Can move another by three thousand down. Move in this new tank, the best tank of the Italians, the Progretto M35. An Italian World War II medium tank, a really good turret. It's better than the other heavy tank. This a later tank. Uh, rifleman. Let's move that rifleman unit to Bali. Tank. Move another rifleman unit to Bali. Move in this tank too. And then we'll take a look at the army. So riflemen will be moved out. They suck. Cavalry could be moved in. Tanks. And artillery. Cavalry. And the riflemen will be moved out. And 
like four this could be moved in. Alright, that's a much better army. Defending. here to Verona and move out some more riflemen move in the stoke mortar artillery move out some more riflemen move in the cavalry the scout snipers and the tank units Scout snipers. And the tanks. Scout snipers. And the tanks. Good. I have better troops there. Fuck, something wrong happened. Okay. This is a better armor now than it was previously. And we have a lot of uh, riflemen here. Need to move 12 riflemen units to Bali. And uh, family member, we can move the air. Sicily Rifleman unit to Bali General and air. Okay. Could also move the fleet. We don't really need to move a lot. Maybe we can move this force. Good. They reached Sicily. We have the air now. He has only riflemen there. Full force of riflemen protecting Bali as well. Probably worthless, but anyway. It's in mainland Italy at least. So at least it's protected by a full sized army. Verona is more important, it's at the border with the enemies or allies, potential enemies. So, we have better infantry there. Artillery, one unit of plane, one unit of tanks. The city of Milano is more important, there are more tanks there, and more of the better stuff, including one unit of planes. Rome is, of course, the only heavily defended area. Okay, that's good. Now let's build some stuff. Hall, stables, practice range. No, we don't need any of that. Sandbag wall. And clearance, small park. France is all around us. Family member over there. Another family member here. It's good 
that it's with France and not Germany. Okay. Let's say I will say the game. Riding in Mogadishu. We revolted there, but we only have infantry. We won't fight them if they have anything better. We declared United States of America and Thailand. We recruit them completed. In Rome, we have a unit of uh, riflemen recruited. Sicily. Move this fleet. Translate which neutral. States Navy, let's destroy it. Giant trips. It is uh, sixty-two for the Roma. Thirty-two for the Julius Caesar. Okay, we'll uh, move the, uh, the Roma first of all. Wait here with the fleet. If you want the fleet to be the best it can be. So we sunk one of the I believe five main fleets of the British. The British have five, the Italians have three, the French have one, and the United States have zero at start. The Soviets have two. But one of them is locked behind uh, the Black Sea area and uh, Turkey is blocking this way. So you only have one and it's in the Baltic Sea and it's also blocked by Germany here. So the Soviet fleet is not a threat to us. Uh, so the Soviet has two fleets, the United States has have zero, Vichy France has one, the French Republic has zero, the Germans have three. Italians have three, Japanese have three, and the rest have only troopers, I believe. Okay. Two 
Tunis is under siege, probably by the, the Americans. Okay. See what we can construct. The sandbag wall. Having a wall could be beneficial sometimes, but as we have the towers, but having no wall is actually better for for the AI and they move. So I think we will skip the wall. We will get the medium park for sure. And um, let's check other areas. British uh, don't need to build there. British will take it. Carco, we still hold Carco. We have four units of riflemen. Uh, but it's outside of Italy, so I don't think we will do anything there. Um, could probably do a practice range will give us artillery, stables will give us tanks, master field will give us uh, infantry and, and horse cavalry will go for the stables, for the tanks. Can repair a building in Tirana. Okay, so the game and our diplomat could be sent to speak with someone. We had a diplomat somewhere. Yeah, he was on his way to Finland. Forgot about him. Speak to them now. Here we have Finland. We have a strong army here. A general Carlo Juho Stolberg. Okay, speak to him. Left click on the listed offer and demand items to create a proposal. Trade rights, map information, map information, alliance, military access, military access. Sure. They still hold the capital of Helsinki as well. Alliance announced, Italian Empire in Finland. Soviet Union. They might have new map information now. Let's move back towards the Germans. Speak to the Germans too. Left click on the listed offer and demand items to create a proposal. Left click on an item in the proposal to remove it. A balanced or very generous. Okay, so we got their map information. Finland has both their starting areas. Romania is still intact. Hungary is still intact. Bulgaria is still intact. But Hungary has lost uh, Kursk. Stalin has been reconquered by Soviet. And they have ignored Karko held by us, the Italian Empire. Will probably attack us at any moment. They are busy focusing on the Nazi armies in Smolensk and elsewhere at the moment. But they can attack Kharkov at any moment. Surprised which France haven't attacked us. The British might attack Tripoli soon as well. Okay. Mogadish revolted, but it's just an infantry army, so the British will probably take it soon. Uh, infantry. Could go for an anti tank unit in Bali. Move out this unit. Oh, 
trips and we to Palermo and we back to port. Okay, let's see the game. And uh, end the time. Yeah, the British are taking back Mogadishu, that revolted. The army consists of tanks and planes and not just infantry. You know, to resolve this, it will be lost. Okay, Mogadishu was retaken by the British. End of turn report. Repair complete. Tirana, Warriors hold. Nice. Diplomatic information, British Empire. Step declared war on Germany and uh well in fact declared a ceasefire hunger and the uh, Soviet Union. Okay. We will not attack any of the Axis powers unless they attack us. We are not allied to hunger anymore. Uh, and the Vichy French either. We're still at war with the Allies. We are allied to Japan, Spain, Romania, Finland, and Germany. The most important faction to be allied to is Germany because they are so strong that they would easily steamroll us otherwise. It's the faction we won't betray if we, if we can avoid it. Go for another diplomat here, could use two. I had a diplomat over here. Could go back to Romania and speak to Romania and Hungary. Speak to Hungary first. They are still here. Left click on the listed offer and demand Get item there. to create a proposal. Map information. Left click on an item in the proposal to remove it. You have the their trade rights over there. Looks like Hungary has taken Bucharest, the capital, former capital of Romania. They've taken an area from Romania there. It's unusual that they fight other smaller factions. Speak to Romania. They are an ally still. They've lost one area to Hungary and have take, taken no area. But as I can see, speak to Bulgaria but they are under siege by Germany that's why you couldn't speak to them click on them I mean okay assault infantry of Germany riflemen Panzer van light tanks SS Mid 109 fighters the same fighters we have BMW motorcycles alright so Germany will take Sophia their capital most likely. Speak to Germany again and see if they have Left updated the their map information. Okay. Turkey has built a fort here outside of Istanbul. speak to Turkey actually. Left click on the listed offer and demand items to create a proposal. Get trade rights and map in information. We do not want an alliance. It's in an historical. Uh, maybe in the later game we will change uh, history in that way by allying different nations and such, but not now. In the fort they have some troops, riflemen, assault infantry. In 
side of Insta Mule, they have two units, okay. Can't see which units. Buildings coming on farming. This building for population order. Okay, process. Seek. Lovely. Palermo can get another rifleman unit. They're out of money, pretty much. Maybe we can get one other unit somewhere. Okay, we'll go for... Uh, ...and the tanks. Maybe not. There might be other areas. More interesting. Verona. Lano. Addis Baba. Nah, we are... Have enemies just outside. Huge forces. We've revolted here with tanks. But no, we, we won't stand a chance there. Frame to know that we can't escape with the tanks in time. Maybe we should have uh, had a fleet there. Uh, by the way, we need to move some troops around here. Out of the Roma and the Cesare. Okay. Okay, Cesare, we don't need that one. Okay, Cesare. To move the Gilius Cesare ships, three of them, then move in three Roma ships. Okay, Roma. Gilius Cesare, Gilius Cesare, Gilius Cesare. Okay, Gilius Caesar. We want the Roma ships. Okay, now we have no more room, so we'll go for two Julius Caesar. I don't know why that happened, it's very annoying. Roma, let's move them into that fleet. Cesare, move them down there. A Roma ship. Let me move out this one. Smaller ships, troopers. Yeah, we'll switch 
them out. Caesar ships. Okay, and another one. It can move into the fleet of troopers. Back it up. We have an entire fleet on most of Roma. Okay. I think this fleet will have to move. Pacific fight the British this fleet too. fort left until the video has processed on the other computer. It's the sixth episode of my American campaign, then I will upload it. So this is the first episode of the Italian campaign. But I have huge unit size unfortunately. Okay, we have no money. We will click end turn. Ah the Brits and the French attacked Tripoli. Capital of Libya. Held by the Italian Empire here. And the British also attacked Addis Ababa again. We have tanks there. They have, they have large forces, including planes. We won't play it in real time, we will just auto resolve. Public, let's say yes to that general. Tripoli besieged Addis Ababa. They conquered it. The town report. The family member Diego Mussolini. Tripoli report. Then you went to tank units in Bali. Rifleman in Palermo and uh, cargo of a diplomat. Let's go to cargo then before I forget about it. So Union and huge forces here. Speak to them again. Get updated information. Left click on an item in the proposal to remove it. A balanced or very generous treaty. They have areas all the way down here. Back uh, move this diplomat into the Middle East. Speak to the French, the Republic of France, not which France. Okay, and we will have their map information. A balanced or very generous. Then we'll continue to move if we can. Speak with the British. 
left click on the listed offer and demand items to create a proposal. Left click on an item in the proposal to remove it. A balanced or very generous treaty point. Right, so the bridge on the map and the French. Even have some areas in, in Southeast Asia now. Thanks to the British there. No one has taken Tirana yet. I was off. New general. I think he could be moved to Tirana. Kinda makes sense to move that army there, but we will be could be attacked by some men there. They rather have it in it, but it's easy to defend. Effective the fleets again. Say it again. Here they are. To go down here, there's only one path into this area. Ah, uh, there is like a port here. We can't enter that area without first taking this area. I see. That sucks. So we are locked up. We need to move back. And we can only control the waters over here. Move back then. Could move down here and move this way. Get under Africa. I don't think we can get under South America. Maybe we can. Maybe there is a way here. Maybe. I'll try it. This way is blocked by America. Just like the Black Sea is blocked by Turkey and the Baltic Sea is blocked by Germany. Okay. Okay. Tavern. Another units of ME 110 fighters. And, uh, then we can go for another unit of riflemen. And that's it. So the game. And then 
think Tripoli will be attacked now. No, it was. Maybe next time. He did take the French did bit. Okay. End of turn report. Extraction completed. Cargo and stables. Rifleman in Palermo. Building up the garrison there. One German ship there. There's still an ally we won't attack. See. Not normal that they attack together. We have an American army here. And a British and a French. But they're all Roman factions. Maybe that's why they help each other. Interesting. So all three are helping each other. Taking triple. Okay. Tavern in Milano will be built. Tirana in Albania revolted. The Allies attacked Tripoli, but the United States moved their troops away. They only have riflemen here. Same with the French, but they have more. Same with the British. Okay, so they attacked the riflemen too. Actually, that could be a fun battle. Everyone has rifle man. Let's fight the battle on the battle map. We will lose, of course. Freed defenses. They're pretty good. So deployment. This is the Italian captain. He has a cap and a different uniform. Okay. And uh, we'll move back the unit. Both 
both of the units will be at the center this time. Bankers should fire them soon. Bankers of the Siegfried line, the West Wall defenses. West Wall defenses. Yeah, they are firing. Good. We lose a few troops to the bankers. They can't fire when they are too close, they won't be able to kill everyone. And these bankers firing at them. Now oh, they can't fire anymore. This unit will enter. They have been weakened. The rest of the army is just staying outside. A lot of riflemen of the French. Free French had a sniper unit at two. Some other stuff. Okay. Free French have entered. The British, they are also entering over here. They have been fired at too. Here we have scout snipers, the British. They look professional. Their uniforms look kind of cool. Scout snipers. firing at them but what uh, we're firing on very thin lines you can only fire if they are uh, enough of a distance away from the bunker okay a rifleman will fight the last the center against anything the snipers will probably lay down far away and fire at them kill them from afar of the British Empire. So the numbers are more numerous now compared to with the United States campaign. So the AI has no problem moving troops on huge, but the player has problems doing it. Not matter in this campaign as well, not advancing the moment you are defending and building up and hoping they won't attack it itself. It took a while until they attacked the triple end. Oh, these goat snipers and the melee, but they have pistols. They're pretty good in melee too, using the pistols instead of their Rifles. You can hear the gunshots being fired. Yeah, the snipers are a better unit than the riflemen. The riflemen are the worst units in the game, they are the militia. And the Italian infantry is not that good. The Italian riflemen at least.
Yeah, this first episode became pretty long. It's fine. Might be able to hold for a while. They are sending in more troops. They have the numeric advantage here. The bankers won't be able to help enough to change the outcome. We will lose, most likely. French Rifleman French Republic with three French We did break some of them This is good That one has been broken here I don't know if we will be able to break all of them, maybe. If they had had anything else than infantry, we wouldn't have fought this battle. But because everyone had infantry, I felt like playing the battle in real time. Battle of Triple A. No point playing battles that we lose. There is no chance of winning at least. Here we have the plaza. They're shaken. They're good. Oh, Lee fight between the French and the Italians here. They have bayonets on their rifles. They have a lot of troops, at least send in more and more, I believe. Here we have a British rifleman.
kill 40%, kill 39%, so they are still leading by a lot. We have killed quite a few. Trainers do not aim correctly. They fire. They still hit us. The guns. Italians seem to aim correctly at least. Let's fast forward. Takes forever. It's about a unit over here. They have defeated the British. Many of the dead British riflemen there. Now they are helping the French. We'll order them to return. Hey, they fight against the French. Fire good, the Brits returned. They're broken now. They might take the plaza now. I think we will run out of men before they are done. They will probably win. Because the men we will kill before they win. We lost from 6% damage to 19%. The entire force with their two armies combined. Taken the plaza. Sounds good. I took it. Very good.
Now they tell it facing the right way again. They're good. I want to attack these guys. again. Good, you succeeded. They have more troops to send into the city. Hello, 
was too weak to hold on to these areas. It's better to focus on it. Let's have the beginning of the campaign. The risk is that Soviet or Germany will become too strong. He should probably advance against Vichy France, but there is a risk that Germany will attack them. So I don't know. them to be the ones attacking, then we will counterattack of course if we can. Sixth remaining of the other video, at least done process. There we go. I think we will move out to one unit against. Uh, I think the French, the weaker ones. Move out to one unit against the French. We need to lead the other one side, captain, in case this is an One unit will suicide against the French. 55 infantry units. Maybe that will trigger them to send in something new. have done well, killed 20% of both their armies, which is 4% of one of the armies. Here they have their ram truck. Looks like an American truck for the French. They also have such one. Yeah, they share the American one, I see. wait too long then Germany or Soviet will win their war and then they will take over all the smaller nations to be border like Vichy, France, Spain, Portugal, Romania, Hungary, etc. Bulgaria, Finland and then they will steamroll us. But if we take over Vichy, France, Spain and any other smaller faction then we could probably become strong enough to hold our own. But we need to have um, troops to do it need to build up troops first and then move them to an area at a time. So Tirana in Albania revolted. Otherwise that would have been the first area where we would send troops. After we had uh, maximized the troops in Italy and on Sicily. These guys are preparing to move out to fight the French. I 
counterattack. Suicidal counterattack. Zoom in on the unit. He most likely to be slaughtered. Ah, it's some sin on the bullet. Forgot. And we can't do that. Units after they start firing. Our fire yet. They are just killing them right now. They have many units. Just our one unit, and they are fully sized. We killed a few of their units there. 234. Remaining up to 240. Might actually do that. But I think we'll send that unit against the Brits. Problem is they have that jeep. They don't want to trigger the jeep. We'll attack the French. I changed my mind. French have about the same number of regions as us. I believe they have about 10 or so. They are similar, similar strengths to the Italians. Well, the British are much, much stronger. The reason Italy has a few regions is, is because we wanted them to be historically weak. We didn't want them to be as strong as Germany and others because they weren't in history. They had incompetent leadership and did very poorly despite their armies and their empire. But their infantry was good and their cavalry and their, and their fleet. The problem with the fleet was that they didn't have the radar radar that the Brits and others and the allies have. They had the whole time to hit the enemy ships. Well the allies could easily hit their ships. The other units should be moving out now. Captain. Oh, oh, oh. Keep an 
buy the minimap so that Britain won't move in anything and we are out of the city and they will win through the time map. Which I don't want them to do, I want them to kill every single one of our soldiers. They have assault infantry, they are stronger. They have no problem to kill a lot of our riflemen. I'm annoyed that this path is taking so long. They're doing nothing. Let's just charge them. I know we will lose, but we'll do it. Oh, it's a pistol fight. They have the numbers they will win. Feather. They didn't move like this. We could have killed more of them from afar. They didn't did want to battle over with. Couldn't win. They killed the captain and we lost the battle. Okay, Captain Ugo of the Italian Empire had 463 riflemen, killed 766, we killed a lot. 39 remaining after the battle. And Marmis, Captain Babin of the French Republic, the Free French, had 321 infantry units, uh, killed 304 of our troops, had 902 remaining. John Bell of the British Empire, the British Commonwealth of Nations, had 1925 men, killed 82, have 1666 remaining. Okay. Let's end. One of our riflemen units killed 333, and the other one killed 359. So they did very well in the battle. Could have done even better if they didn't charge. They wanted the battle over with. There were no chance we would have won. Could have used to kill more of them. We were lucky that they didn't answer the fire, probably because they were on a hill. And neither a clear sight or something. Right, a new turn. By AAA, agent detected, French state which uh, at Milano, town report, marriage celebrations, Giovanni Cassano in Ariana and Ariana, their uh, unit recruitment complete at Roma, Mrs. Smith 110. Rifleman out of Verona. We will return these troops to Palermo as Tirano had revolted. Diplomatic information Thailand has a ceasefire with the British Empire and the Third Reich with. French Republic. Can now move in. We can't. Okay, we will move a unit of anti aircraft trucks to Virano. And move in this plane to into Rome. Move this fleet others here. Okay, I kind 
of want them to invade somewhere. If the area of Tunis is revolted and it's now under siege by the Americans, we have Arabic neutral riflemen there, Arabic neutral assault. They are an ally. We used to be yeah, in the way. We need to pass them. There's a diplomat over here. If we can move them. Can't move into Africa. I believe there is a sea in the way. Okay, we'll move back with this diplomat then. Speak with Vichy France as soon as possible. Speak to Soviet again, get some updated map information. Left click on an item in the proposal to remove it. A balanced or very generous. Still haven't defeated Finland. Finland still has both of their areas. They still do not have uh, Smolensk, I believe. They haven't entered Romania. Hunger or Germany. Okay. This fleet can move. We have Sao Paulo. Dish has revolted. We don't care about that area. Same with Addis Ababa. Carco. Go for a muster field there. Recruit some tanks. information, the British Commonwealth of Nations and Thailand has uh, not war with each other, the French Republic and the Third Reich. The following factions have declared a ceasefire, the Third Reich and the United States of America. Okay. So we have pretty strong forces here. Very few planes. Border areas. Maybe we should focus on building armies instead of buildings. So in uh, capital of Rome. We'll go for another plane. Verona will go for planes as well. 
in Milano. Go for the planes. Addis Ababa. Could uh, try to hold the area now. I don't seem that strong there now. Okay, we're done. French, they are in the way. We can't attack them because I they are allied to too many. German is allied to them, so we don't want to attack them. Then Germany will break the alliance and such. Fuck, I should have been more careful trying to pass them there. Yeah, we can move this way, perfect. We so got into this area. It's one of the fleets, perfect. And I will end the turn. Empire is back attacking Mogadishu. At least out to win that. About to lose it. But the result it. Yeah. We need more armies. Siege Mogadishu, and it was taken. End of turn report. Striking complete in cargo of master field. Unit recruitment complete in cargo. We have a P2640. Okay, diplomatic information. The following factions are at war with each other the United States and the Third Reich. The following factions have declared a ceasefire the French Republic and the Third Reich. Constructing most places. Construct Messersmiths in Bali too. Right. In Carco, can start to build up more stuff. I kind of want to play instead if we can. Uh, we will go for another P26 for today. Okay. For the fleet or navy. Oh, we have an enemy fleet here. British fleet. Let's sink it. This fleet can also move.
game. And we'll end it. That is where I revolted the neutrals now. And we got attacked. We had quite the forces here. Nothing in, in comparison to what they have. They have uh, Matilda tanks, three speed fires, three Matilda tanks, three speed fires, and infantry, and then officers' car. They have two extra units of speed fires, that's five speed fires, and another tank, so that's four Matilda tanks, then an additional feature, so six Matilda tanks and six speed fires. You have two. Messersmiths, one Stuka and a tank. We will have to resolve this. We just constructed new planes, very good. Back the snipers to Bali. We'll move uh, this unit of riflemen to Palermo. Move a sniper to Bali. Snipers, the fleet here. Move the unit of anti aircraft trucks to Verano. Move this fighter unit to Rome. game then we can get another one of the ME 110 fighter planes Stuka attacking bomber I don't have an enough money for anything else can't stop constructing the tank I shape my mind Then we can get a fighter house. Yeah, we could uh, go for that there.
British fleet, yeah. Can easily sink it. We'll do it. Left click on the listed offer and demand we'll items have an to be them again. Left click on an item in the proposal to remove it. A balanced or very generous treaty proposal is likely to be accepted. Left click on an item in the proposal to remove it. A balanced or very generous treaty proposal is likely to be accepted. Quite a lot of the world visible. Spain has an area in Africa too. Three areas in Spain. Three, four areas in total. Okay, we'll click and turn. We just want to save first. Maybe we had another uh, diplomat somewhere. Speak to the Soviet Union again. Left click on the listed offer and demand items to create a proposal. Left click on an item in the proposal to remove it. A balanced or very... Okay, done. Let's uh, end the time. Diplomatic information. The following factions are now at war with each other. The British Commonwealth of Nations and the Third Reich and the French Republic in Hungary. Equipment report. We have new fighter trials and light tanks in Milano and Messerschmitt 109 fighters in Bali. Okay. 
end of town report. Also, I believe that R Romania took an area somewhere. We need to speak to Soviet again. Left click on the listed offer and demand items from to create information. information. Left click on an item in the proposal to remove it. A balanced or very generous treaty. Down to speak with Romania. Left click on the listed offer and demand I create a proposal. Left click on an item in the proposal to remove it. A balanced They have quite a few troops now. So much S thirty five tanks, Stokes motor artillery, S one oh nine fight planes, cavalry, assault infantry. Rifleman, it's got snipers and the U-52 transport and bomber planes. The new troops. Move out. Unit from here, sniper unit. Move the unit of anti aircraft trucks to Verona. Move this plane to Rome. Horseman, Bali. Move it into Bali. Move the fighter thousand into Milano. Troops, the fleet. Palermo. Only one free slope now. The United States have finally taken Tunis here. See the game. Milano, we can get more planes. I think we will go f and we can get uh, tanks too. But I think uh, currently it would be good if we had uh, planes. Go for the Messerschmitt plane. Milano. Moved to Portugal. We'll speak to Portugal. Left click on the listed offer and demand items to create a proposal. Left click on an item in the proposal to remove it. A balanced or very generous treaty proposal is likely to be accepted. All right, we've got trade information and map rights with Portugal. Map information with Portugal. We have uh, grenadiers, riflemen, and the Wellington bombers. Mm -hmm. Let's 
speak to Hunger again. Left click on the listed offer and demand items to create a proposal. So left click on the mission to remove it. The other to have trade rights, but they are not an ally anymore. This is Bucharest, they took it from Romania. And Miklas Hort here, the faction leader. And we have the Germans outside. Maybe they will attack Hungary. Speak to the Germans too, get their updated Left map information. And demand items to create a proposal. Left click on an item in the proposal to remove it. A balance. Save the game. Hunger is pretty big now. They have taken the capital of Romania and they've taken another area of Romania too. So they have five areas. Germany might trade them. You'll see. About Turkey, we'll speak to them again. Left click see if on anything has changed. Items to a Left click on an item in the proposal to remove it. A balanced or very generous treaty. They won't have their starting areas, I think. They have a fort here. Built. But to see what happens here, we'll stay there. Now, the diplomat will move the fleet. Pacific the fleet right. Charco we can go for another five three thousand tank. Okay, let's see the game, and then the turn. Right, in Mogadish we do not care. The turn report, treatment report, we have um, a Smith 110 in Rome, and a Stuke attack the bomber in Verona, and a fighter task in Carpel. Diplomatic information, the following facts run out of war with each other. People's Republic of China, the communists in China, had declared war on the Chinese Republic, the, Re the Republicans and Nationalists, uh, the British Commonwealth of Nations and the British Empire have declared war on the Third Reich, India has declared war on Portugal, the following facts have declared their allies, the Third Reich and Portugal, the following facts have declared a ceasefire, Romania and the Soviet Union. Okay, we'll move some troops. First of all, we'll move uh, infantry, Some snipers, I think we'll be moved to Bali, we'll move out one unit of riflemen, we'll move to Palermo. Then we will uh, of anti-aircraft trucks on Rona will you uh, move a tactical bomber into Rome Roma can you move uh, an 
another unit of uh, snipers to Bali and move out a unit of riflemen. Okay. And we can move a unit of 3000 tanks. Milano, go in this unit of Messmith 110 fighters. Move in the snipers into Bali. Rifleman to Palermo. The other one to the general can be moved somewhere else. The general over here. General to Carco. Fight to the fight to the death there. We'll build another P twenty six fort there. Palermo is full. Same with Bali and the other Italian areas. Now we need to move troops to to Carco. Going forward. This tank unit could uh, do better elsewhere. It's a good tank unit. Pick it up. American fleet. The Japanese, they failed, failed to take Singapore, but it's held by rebels here. Yeah. The Japanese fleet here. Huge. The Miyoki, Miyoko. Fuck, the game crashed. <laughs> 